Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Trophy for all the new folks. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a 3-in-1 get ready with me. So we're going to be doing the makeup, the hair, and I'm going to be showing you guys my outfit. So if you guys are interested in seeing all of this, stay tuned for the rest of the video. I already moisturized my face, so I'm going to start by carving out my brows. I'm using a NYX Conceal Correct and Contour Palette. I'm using a deep palette, and I'm basically just tracing around my eyebrows and giving it some shape. Then I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Black and Brown Eyebrow Powder, and I'm just filling in my brows with that. I go darker towards the ends, and then when I get towards the front of it i don't put as much product so it won't be so harsh and let me know if you guys want to see a lit get ready with me that would be so cool <laughs> now i'm just wiping all the concealer off um so that i don't just have concealer sitting on my face <laughs> You know, because that's not cute. Now I'm applying my e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. If you have oily skin, this primer is really good. It's really affordable. I go through this stuff, like, quick because it's that good. Um, so I'm just applying it all over my face. I do, like, a thin layer because if you apply too much, then it starts to look uh, kind of cakey. So I finally got my hands on the Rihanna Fenty foundation, you guys. I'm in the color 440, and I'm applying it to my, um, it's not a beauty blender, it's the Real Techniques uh, Beauty Blender, and I'm just applying that all over my face in a thin layer, and then I apply more a little bit later, a, a little bit later to give it like a full coverage look. What do y'all think about this foundation? I am not in love with it. I feel like I have to put so much on for it to like have coverage and I'm not in love with the finish. I don't know. And the whole oxidizing, how it changes colors, it just doesn't do it for me. So um, it's all right, it's all right. I'm gonna definitely keep on using it because I pay for it. But I also bought the Clinique Beyond um, Perfecting Foundation and Concealer again. So I think I'm going to start using that, but I don't know. What y'all think about it? Now I'm applying my LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm in the color Toffee. I'm applying it um, below my eyes. Not too much of it. And I like to apply it in a nice layer uh, first. And then I'm going to go in with the other side of the Real Techniques Blender. And I'm going to blend it all out. As you can see, I don't go too far down. I've learned this technique from Shayla. When I was watching one of her videos, I don't go too far down because I don't want it to just be... I want it to have like more of a natural look. And I also add some concealer to my eyelids so I can brighten them up before I add my um, eyeshadow. To set my under eye concealer, I'm using the Sasha Buttercup setting powder, which I love. I just love the way it just soaks into my skin. I don't bake, I just press into my skin. I'm putting it on my eyelids and underneath my eyes. Now for my eyeshadow, air quotations, because it's not eyeshadow. This is the CoverGirl Ebony Bronze uh, Queen Collection Bronzer. I'm just applying it to my eyes. I don't really uh, wear eyeshadow a lot. I want to get more into it. I want to make more makeup videos. So I'm a try y'all, but I usually just put a uh, bronzer on my eyelids and that's good enough for me. This is the um, Rupa Kisses liquid liner. This is one of the easier ones to work with for me. And um, off camera, I decided to apply my lashes. I applied the 605 lashes and I got them from the beauty supply for like $2 or less. Now I'm gonna set my foundation with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deepest. 
bronzer on my face. I'm adding the Ebony Bronze CoverGirl Queen Bronzer. That's the same one I use on my uh, eyeshadow, and I'm just applying it to my cheeks as if it was a um, I'm contouring, and then to the top of my forehead, and then underneath my chin. Oh yeah, and to my nose. Yeah, to my nose as well. <laughs> Now, for the fun part, I'm using the Makeup Shayla ColourPop uh, Loose Highlighting Powder in the color Boomin'. This highlighter is so freaking amazing. My new favorite highlighter, and it's so affordable. And as you can see, I'm going in and I'm adding it to like the high point of my cheeks and then to my nose. I'm lining my waterline with the ColourPop uh, Black Gel Eyeliner Pencil. And then I'm gonna go back in with that uh, Shayla highlighter and just put it in the corners of my tear duct so it can give me a little pop. Then I'm adding a little bit of blush. This is the MAC Raisin Blush. And then finally, I'm setting my face with the NYX Matte Setting um, Spray. Then after that, of course, I can't help myself. I add some more of the highlighter so it can really pop. I don't take naps. Alright, moving on to the hair. The day before this, I did a blowout and a trim on my hair. If you haven't watched that video, go ahead. After you finish this one, go back and watch that one. So the night after, well, the same night when I blow dry my hair, I decided to twist it up. I used the Camille Rose Almond J Twisting uh, Butter to twist my hair up. And I have like a few videos on it already. So I didn't think it was, you know, important to film a video. And then I just put my white perm rods at the end. So after I took all my perm rods out, I uh, put some of the L Natural Oil. As you can see, I am pulling my hair so hard. I don't know why I was doing it. I guess I was really trying to get the oil in. And as a result, some of my um, twists, specifically that twist, uh, it lost its curl. So that's why I put it back in the roller in hopes that it would curl back up. Spoiler alert, it didn't. So now I'm just going through all of the twists and separating them. After all the twists were separated, look at that. I'm looking, starting to look a little cute. After all the twists were separated, I um, separated them again. As you can see, I'm pulling the hair apart where it naturally wants to separate. It's not always perfectly even. Sometimes one side may be a little thicker than the other side, but that's fine. Cause if you pull it where it naturally separates, that's how you reduce frizz. And I'm just doing it all over, but I'm keeping that white uh, perm rod on there. I'm trying to keep the face. I don't know why. Alright, back to my lips. I am lining my lips with the ColourPop Pitch Liner. This is the perfect brow liner. I love it. I use it every day. And then I'm going to go in with the Shayla Neat Freak Gloss. Woo, her whole collection is like popping. Like, I gotta go get the palette now because this gloss and a highlighter just did it for me. It is so freaking perfect. y'all magic trick oh don't look like got a little curl no, no it don't <laughs> that's the magic it ain't no magic trick <laughs> i'm so corny y'all but no it didn't curl back up so sometimes it happens. your hair is not always perfect and look when i was trying to separate it it got stuck together so when that happens um take your time and like try to separate it from the bottom so you can reduce fridge if i would have just tried to pull it apart it would have been even worse so for this situation i'm just gonna tuck it under and just act like it never happened then i'm gonna move on and pick my roots to make my hair a little bigger yeah i was still a little tripping about you know that curl because it was like flying each and every way but in the end i mean it still looked good All 
All right, so I went ahead and changed into my dress and this is pretty much the finished look. My hair was really, really soft and it had a nice little curl to it. I thought it was really pretty and like as the day went um, on, it got bigger and it seemed like even more, it like looked like pillow. It's like pillow soft hair. People was asking to touch my hair. Like don't touch my hair. I know it looks touchable, but don't. Don't you even think about it. So um, the dress that I'm wearing is from Forever 21. It's like a long wrap type of dress. Um, it has like a little string in the back. And yeah, as you can see, it's like a string in the back. I've been wanting a, a wrap dress for a while. And it has like a sexy little slit. And these shoes are like the clear type of shoes that are really popular right now. They hurt like hell. I ain't gonna even lie to you. I got them from Fashion Nova. I just wear them for the pictures just to be real but I absolutely love the dress it's so effortless it's so pretty and it was actually pretty affordable so yeah this concludes the video I hope you guys enjoyed it I love you guys as always and I'll see you next time